The Gators will kick it away to start us off. And it'll be a touchback. The ball will come out to the 25-yard line. So the USF Bulls offense will get the first swing of the game. And here he comes, guys, the man who makes everything go. Everything in this offense is built around his ability. He's got such great field vision. He's got it all on he is must-watch TV. Let's not get it twisted. People show up to this stadium. People are watching back at home because of this guy right here. The tackle is made at the 28 after a pickup of three. Looking for space. It's Powell. Hard running there. And he surges up to the 36-yard line, and they'll move the chains. And the Bulls want to crank the tempo. Off the play fake on first down to throw. And the quarterback is snowed under. He was lurking, waiting for his opportunity, and like a gator in the swamp, he went into the roll and got that quarterback. They did, and I tell you what, when you want to be dominant in this league, if Florida wants to get back to being a dominant team, it's got to be guys like this in the trenches dominating football games. This crowd bringing the energy and noise early. On third and long, trying to have a big completion here. Complete to the right. He's got first down yardage as they move it to the 44. The Bulls are moving quickly down the field. Brown wants to pass. It's complete to the left. Ripping through the defense and getting it all the way down to the 24-yard line. And the Bulls have it with a first and 10. They go to the ground. Gets it all the way down to the two-yard line. He was fighting for that end zone. I'm amazed by this offense. This is how you set the tone for a game. Running, throwing on the opening drive, driving right down the field. You just run to set yourself up now in first and goal. They are feeling it. A couple of guys there to get him on the ground. The big defensive tackles in the middle, they're not always the best pass rushers, but they are strong, and I say country strong. They put their hands on you, you feel it. They lock people out of the And he takes it to the house. Touchdown, South Florida! Touchdown. The offense goes as he goes, so really no surprise in the opening drive. They keep feeding him the football. He shows you all of his ability on that TD. And the extra point makes it 7-0. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. And he takes this from inside the five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. The Gators offense will get the ball for the first time. As we take a look at our impact players for this one, what are you looking for, Jesse, for a guy to make an impact? Well, these are simply put the leaders of this football team, and generally games go how these guys play. If they make plays, then they've got a shot to win this one. No doubt, they got to show up. These are the team leaders. These guys have to play well if they're going to win the football game. They believe in that running game. Got six before he stopped at the 23. Six-yard pickup on first down. Leaves him with second and four. Here comes the option. That's the kind of play that can really get you going as they get it out to the 36. And now on first down after converting with the run. Looking downfield, it's Flagway. Safe completion on the screen. Plows through the defense. He makes the stop, but a nice pickup there on first down. Leaves him in second and manageable. Offense bringing in the big boys, heavy personnel. Now the pitch. And he's almost to that first down marker there, saying he's a little bit short. They might want to bring out the sticks and measure, but it looks as if he'll be just short of the first down. Now on third down for this offense. Looking to throw for it. 
quickly out to the tight end. Now they're starting to feel it. They've got a first down at the 44. Fresh set of downs after the completion. On the option. Able to scrounge three yards out of that one somehow. It's second and seven. You know, runs like this oftentimes are like a boxer in a boxing match. Obviously, it's not a knockout punch, but these are body blows. And as the game goes on, these small gains are going to turn into longer runs. Caught behind the line. It's Abrams. And just a short, safe pass play. They pick up a few. This is a very tough slot receiver to cover if you're a linebacker because of how quick and how shifty he is. You never seem to know which way he's going, and he always seems to create an open space for his QB. They'll pick up enough yardage for the first down. They've got it at the 30. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. And this will be incomplete. A big hit there forces second down. Well, it was a good throw, it was a good route, but it was the hit that forced that incompletion. They'll leave it with him. Delivers the stiff arm. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. The Gators have taken it inside the 20. They'll throw it from the red zone. And it's caught! Touchdown, Florida! And that is the first passing touchdown, first of many of the season for this offense. Nice drive by the offense. Way to finish it, take care of the football, make some plays in the passing game. This offense looks like they're going to be a really hard one to stop. And we're all square as he's set to kick it away. And they thought about a return, then thought better of it. They'll bring it out to the 25. South Florida has it back, and the Bulls' offense will return to the field. After standing on the sideline and watching that long touchdown drive, they really need to put something together to give their defense a rest. And that's a real thing, man. Like, you've played a lot of plays, you get worn out, you need a chance to go decompress on the sideline, get some oxygen. Palmer, now it's on this offense. Yeah, this is the definition of complementary football because it's a two-pronged problem. You've got to score points and answer, but you've also got to take your time. Afterburner's coming. And they got the defense on that one, and they get it to the 29-yard line. The Bulls hit it quickly to the line. This is obviously a great play physically by the quarterback, but how about mentally making the right decision? He was keying on the right defender. He throws toward the end zone. And that one was way too far for anybody to catch, except ticket holders. You simply don't see that very often. The quarterback of this guy's caliber missing a guy wide open in the end zone. He makes those throws in his sleep. Brown will throw it. They intercept it. Bringing it back. And a big return after the INT sets up the offense for this possession. QB's got to pick and choose their spots when they want to be really aggressive and try to fit balls in tight windows. Great job by the DB, making a big play, getting the ball back to its offense. From the gun, the running back has it. One step wrap, two step squeeze. This junior knows how to get him on the ground. Run game is good, balance is good. Now listen, if the run game isn't good, then you got to pass the football a little bit more, but sometimes you got to keep them honest, take them chunk by chunk. Now the quarterback changing the original play call. Grabbed over the middle. It's Hawkins. And they make the stop, and that will likely bring us to the end of the first quarter. We've played one, and we are right back where we started. All tied up after the first period as we take a look at the stats. A third down play to open up this quarter. They'll try to get it through the air. Makes the grab. It's Abrams. And the Gators pick up the first down. Here comes the hurry up. And had they not picked up that first down, it would have been decision time for the head coach, right? You're kind of in no man's land on the fridge. Throws toward the end zone. 
and they won't be able to connect downfield looking for a big time play. Nice job by the defense there, taking all throws away from the quarterback. He had nowhere to put that football in the field to play, so that ball obviously had to go out of bounds. They'll give him a couple. That leaves him with third and eight. I'll tell you, this is a running back who's very, very dangerous, and the defense did a good job getting him down there, but they got to do a great job. Fires toward the end zone. And he's got it! Touchdown, Gator! One of the areas they really focused on with this receiver in the offseason was we need you to make more plays for us in the end zone. When we're taking shots, we need you to be able to step up and make tough catches. Dave, what a grab right there. And I think a lot of that has to do with trusting your guy, knowing where he's going to be, knowing when he's going to sit down, when he's not. So being on the same page and then having a guy that can go get it. Just when the ball is near him, he's going to make the play just like he did right there for six points. South Florida ready to send the offense back onto the field. Boy, they had that last drive moving a little bit, David, but then the mistake just crushed them. Yeah, and those mistakes are going to happen. You're going to throw the football, you're going to throw interceptions, but I think I stay aggressive with this offense. I get back to what I did in the first part of that drive that made me successful. I agree, David. Just turn the page if you're a quarterback, right? On this drive, you did a lot of good things there leading up to that pick. Forget about it, move on, play the next play. Fires and picked off. Even with minimal gain on the return, they are working with a short field from the 36. The offense set for a first down play. Use the play fake, now to throw. Looking for his man. How about that play to get a hand in there and force the incompletion? Well, I know that one fell incomplete, but what a day this guy's had throwing the football. Multiple touchdowns, and he's done a really nice job with his decision-making. Hasn't thrown any picks, which has really helped keep this offense on schedule. Looking to pass. It's Flagway. Quarterback on the move, still looking. Picks up the first down and gets down to avoid contact. Yeah, I think you're just seeing the experience this guy has, right? He's so poised that initially he's flushed out of the pocket, nothing's open, and he doesn't panic. He's not throwing it away. He's not sliding early. He just knows where the defense isn't. And he's able to attack that space with his speed and get a positive play. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Last play was a near disaster. Now dealing with second and 13. He's looking to throw. Fires to the middle. And that pass picked off. Got some room to run. The 40. Pass the 30. The 10. And with the interception, he'll take it all the way back. Touchdown, Bulls. This time, it's the defense finding ways to put points on the board. There is nothing better than being a defender. Seeing that ball in the end zone, your eyes get big as saucers. Go jump on that puppy, secure it, get you a touchdown. Ready to try the point after. Bangs it through for an extra point. Let's go to the studio now and check in with Kevin Connors. Kevin, what do you got? Guys, let's get you up to speed on what's going down in this fun college football game today. Syracuse picked a bad day to have a bad day. The once proud tradition Dick McPherson built there in central New York, we're a long way from that right now. They're trailing by 14 to West Virginia. We've got our eye on this one and everything else going on throughout the day. Guys, thanks for the update. He hurls one deep down the left side. It's complete. A huge pickup. And they'll do more than move the chains. They'll move that thing more than 30 yards down the field before he's finally stopped. Whole situation changed after that last big play. Now it's first and 10 from the 39. Caught in the backfield, it's Hawkins. Stop just inside the 30 at the 29. It's a 10-yard pickup and a first down. New set of downs after that completion. They'll run the option. He'll toss it. Using the spin move. 
Listen, you, you got to be able to know what play to call and what hole to go through. Like the line blocks for a certain hole. Good job getting through the hole, getting what was blocked, getting a nice positive gain, making your situation really good on the next time. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. That play had zero shot. They got to do a better job up front, creating some running lanes. The running back before he could go anywhere, getting tackled, nowhere to go. Working the middle, it's complete. Good job running that route to get past the sticks because he got nothing after the catch. The Gators come to the line with a fresh set of downs. They'll go to the counter. Trying to run it in in the red zone. He's got four, and he's down at the 12. Solid pickup of four on first down. It's second and six. The option look. He'll toss it. They'll give him four yards on the carry. It's down at the eight-yard line. I think that was an example of the offensive coordinator trying to help out his quarterback. He's trying to keep these third downs manageable. You know, you throw the ball on second down and it's incomplete. Now you've set up third and long, and now you're set up to fail. Boy, they'd love to pick up this conversion and go to work with a first and goal. They're going to try to throw for it on third down. They bring him down, but not before he gets just enough to move the chain. These QBs that can scramble by time, you just got to have a lot of energy. I mean, you got to keep chasing, keep chasing. Sometimes you run up field, you got to retrace your steps. QB won that battle, and now you got another chance. First and goal. Get your mind right. Let's hold him to a field goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. And he's loose, and he'll take it to the house. Touchdown, Florida. And that is exactly what you want from your offense. Man, late in the half, you want to execute and then punch it in physically on the ground. Take the lead going into the half. Take all the momentum. Nice execution on the drive by that offense. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. And he's going to bring it out of the end zone. He stopped short of the 20 at the 19 and probably wishes he'd just taken the touchback. South Florida has it back, and the Bulls' offense will return to the field. One of the most valuable things a quarterback can have, David, short-term memory. Just forget that last pick. You're dang right. Clear the mechanism. It's over. Move it behind you. Some players can't do that real well, and it leads to more mistakes, Jesse. you got to just forget about it and move on. And I think the coaching staff can help him too, David. I think he can get the running game going here and also give him some easy throws. Brown wants to pass. And the pass down the left side, diving, caught! A timeout is called, is this how? Find a way to get more points on the board before the half. The feel of this whole drive changed on that last big play. They've got it first and 10 outside the 30. He's gonna pass. Got his man downfield. The stop is made, but this offense is threatening. First and goal from the nine. Quick timeout by the defense there, trying to make sure everyone has the same call. And this offense will have to feel pretty good about itself if it can tie the game before halftime. First and goal. And it'll be intercepted in the end zone. And they'll drag him down after a good return on the interception. Well, that's the second pick in as many series now for this quarterback. But, David, I, I love the defense right now, the way they're reading and reacting to all these route concepts. I mean, they are all over these guys on the back end. All over the field, making plays. Listen, you, you're supposed to see the quarterback break on the football. You've seen several breaks on the football. Your job is to know what the offense does really, really well. And you can tell this defense is dialed in, and they'll know exactly what this offense wants to accomplish. He wants to go deep. 
And it's knocked away. Downfield, the DB getting a hand in there. Second and 10 here now. He's looking to throw. Takes a hit as he fires. Nowhere close on that one as he got drilled trying to deliver the football, and now they face third down. Well, the offensive line has got to give him at least a little bit of time to survey the field. He had no chance that time getting hit almost immediately after he got the ball. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. To the air. It's Flagway. They're trying to get to him. And that defense gets to him, and down he goes at the nine. Here's a timeout on the field. Tight game here late in the first half. We're only in the first half already. This guy's got two TD passes. So you can see the defensive coaching staff on the sideline telling this D-line, guys, we got to get after this guy. We have to affect his rhythm and not let him be so comfortable back there. Right there, they were able to get after him. Let's see if they can keep it up. South Florida ready to send the offense back onto the field. In modern college football, Jesse, if there's time, there's an opportunity to attack. And I like them being aggressive here, too, guys. Look, they, they practiced this all week long. Now you're in that situation to go out there, have some fun, and let it fly. And defenses are taught to stay deep, play prevent in these situations. So I think you could get a good chunk play and then possibly get a field goal to tack on before the half. The offense will quickly use the timeout. Just a few seconds remaining here as they try to put something up before halftime. Looking to go up top on first down. Feeling some heat. And the defense wraps up the first half by taking it to the quarterback and getting the sack. First half in the books. Time now to join Kevin Connors in our halftime update. And the Bulls will board away to start the second half. On the run from inside his own five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Florida has the ball back, and here comes the offense. They'll open the second half on the ground. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. And it wasn't lack of effort by the running back. He was trying. He could tell he fought one guy off, but another guy in his face right away, but just trying to do something. The offensive line needs to do a better job keeping some guys off this guy. Come on, man. Take care of your running back. It's caught downfield. Hit the gas, kid. Wide open ahead. Big, big gain on that one as he steps out of bounds with a first down. This offense is like running a perfection drill in practice against air. Chunk play after chunk play, and here they come again. They've got it inside the 30. They'll mark it at the 28. It's first down. In halftime in this locker room, there's a lot of positive things to talk about. You got the lead, but you know what else would be positive, Palmer? Get the running game going early in this second half. You're absolutely right here, and I think this coaching staff is going to try to put this game on the offensive line. A little bit. Let these guys take this thing over, be physical, and push this defense around. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. He'll ride his man on the option. He'll pitch it. Tackle is made right at the 20-yard line after a pickup of four. And, you know, when we talk about great third-down defenses, it really starts with them getting stops on first and second down. You've got to get those stops early in the drives to set up third and long, so that's a missed opportunity on that second down by this defense. Nowhere to run on that when he loses four on the carry. So now on comes the field goal unit. He splits the uprights and puts three on the board. Now, there is a flag down on the play, but when you knock through a field goal from that distance and you're not going to get the first down, I think you just keep your points. So the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. The offense will gladly take a fresh set of downs after the penalty. You'll take four yards on first down every time, second and six. They're about to snap it for the seventh time on this drive. A designed run for the quarterback. And maybe he'll get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. The terrain gets rough this deep in the red zone. Third down, they can't pick up the first without scoring. 
Still looking on the move. And the defense gets him out of bounds at the three, and they're set up. Nice job by the defense getting after the QB. He's trying to scramble around. He's trying to go get that first with his legs, but he's not able to do it because the speed on defense. Deep in enemy territory, balls at the three. They can pick up a first down without scoring a touchdown. And here they go on fourth and short. They stop him short of the marker, and they'll turn it over on downs. I like it. This defense plays aggressive on fourth and short, and they are rewarded. Figured they would run the football. They did. Nice job getting some penetration and stopping that fourth down play. He showed it all there. A little elusiveness, a little power, and he's got the first down. The Bulls want to pick up the tempo. And what a run. When you're an offensive coordinator and you're backed up, you're just trying to create some space to get out of your own end zone, and it's always a nice bonus when you pop one and create some serious space for your offense and some momentum going forward. They'll try the right side. He is going nowhere. Stop at the line of scrimmage. Decibels rising as the crowd gets behind this defense on third down. Brown will throw it. Going deep. Makes the catch on the left. Oh, look out. There he goes. And he just... Field and delivering to the wide open receiver. I love this quarterback, Reese, because he's aggressive. He wants to take shots. He's looking for every opportunity to show off that cannon and that arm talent. He showed it to all of us right there. He'll start the return inside his spot. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. The Gators sending the offense back to work. A really disappointing end of that last drive, David. Getting stopped on fourth and goal, they'll try to regroup. Yeah. He's going for a big play downfield. And it's incomplete. They were looking for the huge gain on first down. Well, the defender got his hand on that one, tipped it up in the air. Offense, man, they're lucky that one wasn't picked. We could have tie game third quarter here, second and ten. He's going to take off. They finally get him on the ground, but not before he rips off enough for a first down. Time winding down in the quarter as they come to the line. We've been treated to an aerial show by these two guys so far as you check out their numbers. They'll break the seal on this quarter here on first down. On the option. And I think they'll give him two on that one, second and eight coming up. That's a really good job by the defense, wrapping them up, getting them on the ground, take away that run game, make them one dimensional, put them in passing situations. Really good job by the defense. A connection and they'll finally bring him down after he rips off a huge play the gators are flying down the field off play action on first down the throw it's caught just what this offense was looking for sets him up at the 26 with the first down and the gators come to the line with a new set of downs to the ground with the back Gets it inside the 25, down to the 22-yard line with the pickup of four. Small gain, I know, but again, the defense knows he's going to run the football. He's willing to run the football, not just drop back and pass. Make him out of the run game. You've got to do a lot of this. Give to the running back. 
tackled after picking up the first down. And I don't care if I get it by 2, by 20, by 30, by 40. I just, I just want to get the first down, understanding the situation, understanding where the sticks are. It doesn't have to be sexy, but i got to make sure I get to that stick, get to the first down marker. That's about as close as you can get to that marker, and it will be second and just a few breaths away from the first down. Defense going all in to stop the run. So close to that end zone. He can almost taste it, but it'll be first and goal for this offense. The clock stops as we have reached the final two minutes of the game. And this offense can just about taste taking the lead in the fourth quarter, but you do want to be careful not to score too quickly. He pushes it forward all the way to the two-yard line. And a nice second effort by the back to break a tackle. But how about those defensive backs willing to come up, stick their face in the fan, and make a tackle? Those are the best run defenses, too, right? It's not just D-linemen and linebackers getting all the plays, but it's DBs that are willing to not just cover, but tackle backs in the open field. Trying to pound it in. And he is stopped, not getting close to the end zone. Line of scrimmage still at the three. The defense going to stop the clock with a timeout. They want to make sure they have everybody on the same page. If they can get it into the end zone here, they can really turn up the heat in this one. Third and goal. Man, how about this offense in crunch time, doing what they do, getting six on the board. Now I turn to my defense right now and say, boys, we need one more stop. Go out there, give me one more. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. He'll bring it out. That gamble did not pay off as they bring him down at the 12-yard line. South Florida has it back, and the Bulls' offense will return to the field. There's plenty of time to work with here, but they have to be highly efficient in their attack, Jesse. So it comes down to the quarterback position, too, Reese. Don't let the moment get too big. Play within yourself, David, because this guy's practiced the situation before. No doubt. Use the sidelines. They're your friend. I don't have to take deep shots. Throw beyond the first down marker so I can stop that clock for a little bit and possibly use my timeouts. Fires to the wideout. It's complete. They immediately call timeout, trying to preserve every second they can to try to rally here late. Got to get everybody lined up quickly, time winding away, and they've got to push the ball down the field. He'll come out throwing on first down. Pulls it in. That is exactly what you're looking for when you talk explosive plays. The defense finally able to make the stop. Double time, hustling to the line. They spike it to stop the clock. They'll spread the defense out, going five wide on second and ten. Brown wants to pass. And the pass is incomplete thanks to a big hit. Third and long, defense knows the pass is coming, so they're going to have guys with their eyes on the QB, but they are going to try to get to him with pressure, pinning their ears back. If you're on offense, you might be thinking blitz here. You better get rid of this one quick. Pocket starts to collapse. Didn't have anything working and just had to throw it away on third down. What a fantastic job by the defense that time, forcing the incompletion. They've got the lead late, setting up fourth down. Can they come up with one more stop? If they get it, they might win this game. And here we go, down the score. They'll go for it on fourth down. Desperate to convert, and he'll throw it. A shot toward the end zone. And he's got it. He's got it for a touchdown. And here in the final minute, they're... Execution. That is how it's done late in the football game now. All you need is that extra point. 
bring the kicker out there. This is what you do, just like practice. Knock it through the uprights, tie this football game, and we might be looking at overtime soon. Here comes the kickoff as we are all tied up in the fourth quarter. Here he comes from inside his own five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. Florida has the ball back, and here comes the offense. A pretty good bit of ground to cover here, Jesse, but they've got some time to work with. They do, so tempo is going to be important. You've got to go fast. You just got to make good decisions at the quarterback position. And those good decisions are throwing the ball beyond the sticks, using the sidelines to get out of bounds, try to maximize this time, and get it a position to win. The incomplete pass leaves him with second down. Looking to throw, it's Flagway. Throws to the tight end. And he just flat dropped it. I think he wanted to run before he secured it. This late in the game, fourth quarter, go time. We got to make plays. We got to go to those things that really, really work well. We can't wait. He's taking the shot. And he's got it inside the 30 yard line. Offense will use a timeout. 19 seconds left in the game. Well, how about the offense setting that play up? We've seen earlier in the game a couple shorter throws, just trying to suck those safeties closer to the line of scrimmage, anticipating that they would get an opportunity to take a shot. They called the perfect play at the perfect time right there. They'll throw it on first down. Looking left. It's complete! Touchdown, Florida! And inside a minute to go, and they've got the lead. And that is exactly what you want from this offense. Take almost all the clock, execute, and now go out and take a lead by a touchdown. Great, flawless execution by this offense. And the extra point is good. They'll try to pin them back with this kickoff and then have the defense with the finishing touches on a win. And he's going to try to return this one. I know he thinks he can house every return, but sometimes you just have to take a knee as he stopped at the 14. They've got him pinned back, and they're trying to rattle their eardrums. Listen to this crowd. He'll start this drive firing. Grabbed in the middle, it's Porter. Excellent job working through the air. They're finding a hole in that defense and picking up a first down. They'll use the timeout, six seconds left on the clock. No time to waste here. They've got to get set and pick up chunk yardage. He's taking a deep shot late in the game. Oh, and he gets downfield for the big catch. Takes it to the house. They are down by one, and the clock strikes zero. How about the bomb by the offense? The Hail Mary, they go deep. The defense knows it's coming. But where are they? Where, where is the defense? You've got to stay as deep as the deepest and make sure this doesn't happen. The Hail Mary to success. Well, this was an offensive showcase out there today. We thought it would be a high-scoring game, and it certainly delivered. If you love offense, then you love this type of game. Both offenses going up and down the field. Seemingly at will, throwing the ball, running the ball. But, David, I feel like if you're a fan of defense, maybe this wasn't your cup of tea. I have more defense options. <laughs> you didn't really get too much of that stuff, but, you know, listen, you got...